Time right now is 6.15. It's time to bring in Chief Meteorologist James Spann. And James, on this date in 1975, you had a close call with a violent tornado in Tuscaloosa. You see what? It was a rough day in the city of Tuscaloosa that day. An F4 tornado came through on a Sunday afternoon, the 23rd of February, 1975. And I was actually on the air at a radio station in college at the time, and uh, the thing passed a half mile east of me. But it was rough. We had one fatality at this location. This is the Scottish Inn on McFarland Boulevard, right by Interstate 5920. A young housekeeper by the name of Thelma Hill was killed up on the second floor. But the tornado was down for 14 miles. It got down around Skyland Boulevard, came through McFarland, wound up in Holt. It was the worst tornado at the time in Tuscaloosa since March 21st of 1932. And yet another reminder that this is tornado season in Alabama, November through May. So out west and up north, this is what they're dealing with. While we have this record warmth, they're just being buried in snow. This is some video from Utah yesterday. We've still got blizzard warnings this morning for parts of Minnesota and the Dakotas. That storm is coming out across the Great Lakes and the Northeast, but around here, we enjoyed an amazingly warm day yesterday and a beautiful sunset across the great state of Alabama. Now, we are watching the severe weather outlook for Sunday. Day. And you notice the Storm Prediction Center has an enhanced risk defined over much of Oklahoma. And often when you see that this time of the year, it's going to wind up being a problem here in a day or two. But we think that's not going to be the case this time because of that strong ridge across the Gulf Coast deflecting the main energy to the north. We could see some thunderstorms next week on Monday. But at this point, the chance of severe weather looks relatively low. Taylor, back to you. All right, thanks so much, James. Wanted to start with a look at the radar over the last couple of hours because we do have a few light rain showers that have developed across central Alabama. Coverage is a little bit better along into the east of I-65 at this point. There are just a couple passing showers here and there. And then seeing some more develop north and west of Birmingham. That's what we're going to see today from time to time. Just very small, light rain showers. Here's the view from our Alabama power camera looking over the 5920 bridge here. Where it's not raining, we've got a cloudy sky and we will stay partly to mostly cloudy. Look at our temperatures though. We're starting the morning in the 60s and 70s. That is about 10 degrees above our average high for this time of year. And yes, we're starting warm. We will end up very similar to yesterday with near record warmth in the upper 70s, ranging anywhere uh, to the mid 80s in some locations, especially in our southwestern most communities. So near record day again. The record high for Birmingham is 83 degrees. That was set in 1996. We're going to be very close to that, so we'll have to see if we can either tie or break that record. Moving through the day, there will be some passing showers from time to time, especially the first half of the day. Coverage looks to decrease by the later part of the afternoon. This is 3 p.m. Temperatures at that point are in the 80s. This evening, if you have dinner plans, we'll have a partly to mostly cloudy sky. And tomorrow, we'll see some weather changes. We've actually got a front moving in. That's going to bring us an increase in rain coverage and also a decrease in our temperatures. So we are looking at some cooler air moving in tomorrow. 9 a.m. We've got temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Tomorrow afternoon we will end up in the 50s and 60s, which is going to feel cool just because we've gotten used to these above average temperatures. We are going to be closer to our average high for this time of year tomorrow. So let's take a closer look at those temperatures today. Of course, another beautiful warm day. We will have some rain from time to time, but you'll also be able to find dry time as well to get outside and enjoy uh, the spring like temperature. Tomorrow is going to feel much cooler. We're going to be in the 60s. That's where we should be this time of year, but we've kind of gotten used to these above average temperatures. If you are a fan of the spring like weather, you're going to like the, we the weekend forecast because we do return to the 70s for the weekend. Let's take a closer look at the next 10 days. So for today, some passing showers from time to time. Tomorrow, similar story. We will have some rain around at times thanks to that front and then much cooler air moving in. We rebound into the low 70s for Saturday with just a couple showers possible. On Sunday, we are back close to 80 degrees, so it's going to be a very warm day on Sunday. Then Monday's the day that James was talking about with the possibility of some thunderstorms. At this point, really doesn't look like a severe threat for central Alabama. We'll keep a close eye on it as we do every system this time of year, and that's going to be our next weather maker. However, the good news is that at this point, it really isn't showing a strong signal as a severe threat across central Alabama.